Well, it's once again time to talk about South Shore 12. Living up to their name tonight. They're not, they barely covered anything about the storm except on the South Shore. On News 12, it's happened again. A storm bringing a surge of flooding with parts of the South Shore seeing the worst of it. I was hoping that we were spared. But it's all about the South Shore. Literally, they did not. They barely covered what people elsewhere on Long Island had to deal with. The outages as crews work to clear those down trees and restore power. Plus, better weather is in the forecast with sunshine and seasonable So, yeah, we have to do this video to call them out again because they should have covered stuff that happened elsewhere on the island. on the flooding across the South Shore. Yeah, roads, yards, beaches, they all took All over the South Shore. Even rescues. That's right, News 12's Kevin Vesey is standing by in Patchogue right now, and he got a first-hand look at just how bad this storm was today. Yeah, Joe, we've been looking at flooding in communities all along the South Shore this evening, and some streets... I'm sure some areas in the middle of the island had some flooding, but they don't care. ...completely covered in water hours after that storm passed through. A section of South Ocean Avenue in Patchogue is still underwater tonight after a storm brought major flooding to the area. Neighbors reported up to two feet of water in some spots. It was almost as high as it was at Sandy. In Bayshore, crews performed a Bay high water rescue at a shorefront restaurant. Dive teams also searched a flooded car but found nobody inside. On South 8th Street in Lindenhurst, high boots were essential to get around. Some even had rafts. It was pretty bad. Larissa McManus showed us her garage, which flooded today, damaging Christmas gifts. We just wrapped up all the gifts for Christmas, and all of them got wet. So we're all over the South Shore, and... I saw a couple cars going up and down, they actually were getting stuck. Mm -hmm. You know, they had to get pulled out, you know. The rest forward. of the island just doesn't matter to this network. Just, and you can see that Patchogue Village public safety vehicle over just there don't preventing matter. people from driving this way. You certainly do not want to drive in floodwaters like this because it could be a very dangerous situation. People who live around here hoping this water recedes by tomorrow morning. In Patchogue, Kevin BC News 12, Long Island. Yep. We're hoping the best for them. Thank you, Kevin. And the uh, barrier beaches, I should say, also took a beating. Yeah, I want you to take a look at these enormous waves here that pummeled Robert Moses State Park and Jones Beach today. Gilgo Beach State Park closed early in the day because it's of all the about the South Shore. We saw excessive surf action. Waves were 20 feet, maybe even a little bit higher at the crest. And they were one right This is a taste of what's to come when the hurricane hits. We're going to be completely forgotten here in the middle of the island and on the north shore. It's going to all be about the south shore. The rest of us will just be forgotten. Back to the south shore again. Yeah, Freeport's nautical mile also flooded. News to all same Got to show those stocks. So obvious who they geared it, man. So obvious. Well, Antoinette and Joe, quite a different picture here from Kevin's. The water has receded a lot here in Freeport, but still some unwelcome reminders left behind from. And they spent like six minutes on the South Shore today. Businesses and stores are closed. What about all the people who had no power today? Doors being closed did not keep out the pounding wind and rain. I was hoping that we were spared. But Otto C. Grill on the nautical mile in Freeport. I'm not going to play the whole story here, but. I mean, they spent so much time on this. It's ridiculous. That equipment. I mean, what about everybody else? There might have been uh, rainwater flooding in other parts of the. The bar is open. It's all about around. these people. The people who live and work down here say flooding is just something they've learned to take in stride. Back, back at it, football Monday taco night. Uh, yeah, we're, we're used to it down here. And the owner of Otto's tells me, on a scale of one to five, five being the worst, she says this storm was about a two, and she's hoping that that is as bad as it gets before it's time to reopen for the season. <laughs> Joe, Antoinette. Well, Tama, they're certainly used to it, but it doesn't and, make it any and better. The, they right? spent very little time on the power right outages. 1,100 Long Islanders are still in the dark. Yeah, PSEG Long Island says power has been restored to nearly 24,000 people. This tree knocked out the power for an entire block on Cardinal Court in Bayshore around 2 a.m. Oh, back to the South Shore again. Back of a car window on the way down. One man tells us he came home from a late night shift to find the mess. 
this part went kind of dry with it, and I see Huntington got hit a lot harder, but yet there's no story on Huntington. Down, but um, I don't know what time it fell down because I was not at all. You know, just getting now. PSEG says the entire island should have power restored by tonight. And that's it. Let's take you outside. Our it's all about the South Shore. It's like the rest of us just don't even exist. And here's a look at Lindenhurst during high South Shore again. Like a river there. This video was taken around 4 p.m. on South 8th Street north of Montauk Highway. You can see a we are just completely forgotten. Uh, with the water up to his knees. Cars, as you see right there, were stuck in the water nearby, like this one on Wellwood Avenue. And 30 miles east, we found flooding in Mastic Beach. Yeah, South Shore there, again. Chris and McNally, they haven't seen floods like this since Superstorm Sandy. <sighs> That's right. We are in Mastic Beach, one of the many areas along it's like, the South Shore. What about the rest of the island? By flooding. Taking this whole storm hit the whole rest of the island. Why are they only talking about the South Shore? There is a car in the distance that was stranded for hours and still remains in the road this evening. Now, people we spoke with who live in the area say they could not believe they were seeing this much flooding again, and it almost reminded them of Superstorm Sandy. Take a listen to what one well, better get used to it. Said. It's like a, another hundred year storm. It's like, I thought we were all done and finished with storms like this in Sandy. <laughs> but then we get hit. You see how ignorant people are? Almost they don't realize climate. Cold. They don't even well, realize where, what's going on. In the road, but as I understand, you know? all these roads up and down have water in them right now with the high tides and the rains last night. What does that mean for homeowners like you? We're stuck here. Um, can't go anywhere. Well, why don't you move to the middle of the uh, island? You want to worry about that there? Car, get stuck in a car. But they'd rather deal with that and, and you know not be forgotten. So. Now with the sunset, it makes it even more difficult to see where many of the roads on Long Island can be flooded. So you are advised to stay off of the roads if you do not have to travel. There are those stocks That's again. From Massac Beach, Krista McNally, News 12, Long Island. And a nightmare for Fire Island homeowners. Yeah, take a Back closer to look. South Shore. This video was taken in Seaview this afternoon. You can just see the waves coming up and crashing all the way onto the dunes right there. Fire Island residents have been pleading with the Army Corps of Engineers to help bulk up the beach barrier yep. for months Let's now. spend more money. Today's storm only proved their point. When asking Steve Ballone, the county executive, when asking our governor, Governor Hochul, to declare a state of emergency for Fire Island so that we can get emergency money and repairs done now before people start losing their houses, we start losing our water companies, our utilities on the island, because there's nothing really protecting us now from the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, well, get used to it. Climate change is coming. Shot down calls in Fire to repair shoreline damage on the east end of Fire Island any sooner than 2025. They agreed to reconsider. We shouldn't be spending any money shoring up these beaches. How about that? Part of the barrier, you know, they're getting gouged out by this. It's just all about these people. It's unbelievable. We're just completely forgotten in the middle of the island and the North Shore too. Sayville. I'm great Say Bill. You got hammered I mean, well with that strong we're just completely the forgotten by this station. We are completely calm, forgotten. Day. It's unbelievable. See the quiet conditions right How do they get away with this? It's blasphemy. Well, being that the media has left us for dead when it comes to covering the storm damage that we had to deal with elsewhere on Long Island, here's an example of it. Tree branch down on power lines. Look at all these tree damage on a house here. I mean, where was South Shore 12? A lot of this is in Huntington, Smithtown, northern parts of Brookhaven. Here's some more pictures of the damage. Wires on the ground. Bad stuff. But the media, this poll looks like it actually caught fire. But where was the media? No, nah, they're all over the South Shore. This is what it's going to be like when the hurricane comes. We're going to be completely forgotten in the middle of the island on the North Shore. So it's all going to be about the South Shore. that I want to just go over with you. Uh, uh, we have wind gusts to 64 miles an hour at Shirley. Uh, Plum Island had a wind gust to 63. Uh, these are local storm reports that we're looking at here. A pole down on the road. Picture of power pole down on road in Carl Place. Um, 
don't know where we got that picture from, but uh, Mill Road in Yapank, metal support wires da uh, damaged by wind. Shame on the media for not covering any of this. I mean, they just completely forgot about it. It's in the middle of the island here. Stony Brook on the North Shore, large tree uprooted across Sophomore Lane, road blocked, tree down across uh, Dix Hills Road in Livingston. At Livingston, at Suffolk County, uh, medium-sized tree down with tall, large metal pole next to road at entrance ramp to the eastbound Northern State Parkway at Deer Park Road. Bradley Road closed due to flooding. So you get the idea. Here's some more storm reports here. Uh, lots of trees down. A lot of storm reports here. Um and so, uh, again, shame on South Shore 12 once again. They completely just forgot about us. Yeah, so the sad thing is I can't even find any pictures on what happened uh, in, the, in the elsewhere on Long Island. It's just all about the South Shore, and the rest of it was forgotten. And you still see we still have power outages across uh, mostly small ones, but still a lot in uh, a number of them here in the old Westbury and Roslyn Heights area um, and Brookville and the North Shore. Uh, being worked on, and also one in uh, Cove Neck. Uh, but, uh, again, completely forgotten by the media. Left for dead. This is the way it is here on Long Island. If you're not on the South Shore, it's like you don't even exist.